Ken Corley, when I was 23, I broke my back. I snapped my coccyx clean off. I was out of work for quite a while and I was in a lot of pain. And one day I had to get a form from the Department of Social Welfare in Summer Hill. I didn't have the money for a taxi, so I walked for about an hour. It would have taken me about 10 minutes normally. By the time I got there, I was in agony. And I said to the guy behind the counter, I need this form. And he said, that's fine. We give out the forms between 10 and 12. Come back tomorrow and you can have one. And I said, do you have them there? And he said, yeah. And he put his finger on a pilot. And he said, this is them. And Ken Corl, I explained to him that I just walked there with a fractured spine, that it was going to take me an hour to walk home, that it was going to take me another hour to walk back, and the same again tomorrow. And would he please just give me one of the forms? And he said he would, between 10 and 12 the next day. I walked out onto the street and I rang the department. A very nice lady said she was appalled. She said, I'll ring him, go back inside and get the form. I went back inside. I said, did somebody call you? He said, yeah. I said, did they tell you to give me the form? And he said, yeah. I said, can I have the form? He said, you can. Tomorrow, between 10 and 12. The pain that I was in for both journeys had me in bed for about two weeks. Now, yesterday evening, we heard from four mothers who had kids with special needs. And Ken Corla, what really struck me was the parallel in dealing with the system, which is when you're in pain like I was, or when you're exhausted like they are, or when you're broke like so many people are dealing with the system, you are disempowered and you are <clears throat> vulnerable and you need the system to work for you. The system is not charity. The system is an insurance policy every single one of us pay into. It is our right, and it is our right to be treated with dignity. Now, what was clear to me last night from the parents, and from the parents I've met over the last year, is that they are not being treated with dignity. They are not being treated with respect, and the system is not working for them.